everybody, and happy almost St. Patrick's Day. Now, I know St. Patty's Day isn't until next week, but I thought this year I would do a two-part series just in time for what I consider to be a very festive holiday. I certainly am not Irish, but I'll tell you what, everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day. So today I'm making a corned beef hash with fried eggs. This is a fabulous recipe that can either be a breakfast, a brunch, a lunch, a dinner, doesn't really matter. It just screams St. Patrick's Day. So what I had to do in order to get started here, as you can see, is I had to saute onions over pretty high heat. And what I want to do is I want this to cook until it almost caramelizes before I add in the garlic. Okay, now our onions have cooked all the way through. I added a little more olive oil. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the garlic. And while the garlic is cooking for just a 30 seconds, seriously, I want to tell you what I had to do ahead. I took one sweet potato with a yam, one russet potato, peeled them and diced them on two separate baking sheets. I roasted them at a 425 degree oven for about 20 to 25 minutes or until they started to get a little bit brown. Make sure that you coat them with some olive oil, season them with some salt and pepper, and once they're all done, you can add them in here to the onions and the garlic. This is what makes it a potato, corned beef potato hash. And I bought about, I'm gonna say half of a pound, mm, just maybe a little bit more, but just about a half of a pound of a very good quality lean corned beef and I diced it, and I'm going to add that to this mixture next. Then what I'm going to do to this is I'm going to add about three dashes of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to add a tablespoon here of a steak seasoning. All righty. I am now going to break four eggs into a nonstick skillet that has about two to three tablespoons of butter. Trying really hard not to break my yolks. <laughs> okay, folks, nice and runny eggs here. Put them right on top of the hash, and then a little bit of Frank's Red Hot Sauce goes on top of that. Some parsley, and folks, you got yourself a great St. Patrick's Day corned beef and potato hash with runny eggs. Well, I'm Rania Harris, and just wait till you see what I have coming up next week. I love you, I miss you, and instead of bon appetit, how about this? Happy almost St. Patrick's Day.